force of attraction between two objects of 4 microcoulombs and negative 5 microcoulombs when they are 0.2 meters apart. So I've got a positive 4 microcoulomb charge on the left and a negative 5 microcoulomb charge on the right. And we know that opposite charges attract. So the charge on the left will be pulled to the right with some force. And according to Newton's third law, the charge on the right will be pulled to the left with an equal and opposite force. They're an interacting pair. How do I calculate that force? We use Coulomb's law. And Coulomb's law says the force is directly related to the magnitude of each charge, denoted by Q, and inversely related to the distance squared. Now, the charge has to be in coulombs, and these are in microcoulombs. There are a million microcoulombs in one coulomb. So all I do is multiply by 10 to the negative 6. So K, 9 times 10 to the 9, Newton meters squared over Coulomb squared. That's straight off your formula sheet. Q1, 4 times 10 to the negative 6 Coulombs. And Q2 is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 Coulombs. Notice I didn't put in negative 5. I've already given it the direction on my picture. R is 0 0.2 meters. And it has to be squared. And when I run all that through my calculator, I get 4.5 Newtons. Now, we want to know the force of attraction. Notice that I didn't put a positive or negative sign in. It depends which charge we're talking about. I'm looking at the charge on the left, my 4 microcoulomb charge, I would say it's to the right. If I'm looking at the force on the negative 5 microcoulomb charge, I would say it's to the left. So they're attracting, that's probably fine. Now part B asks, what happens when the distance is doubled? Well, if you look at your equation, it's K, Q1, Q2, which we're not changing, all over r, all squared. And we're going to just double r. So my equation is going to look like this. k, q1, q2, all over 2r, all squared. Now when I simplify this, I get k, q1, Q2, and when I square anything in parentheses, everything inside gets squared. So that becomes 4R squared. And if you'll look at what I'm circling, there's my original force at a distance R. There it is again. So it's one quarter my original force. So if I double the distance, the force reduces by a factor of 4. Um, you could see that directly just using the equation if you like. My force is inversely related to r squared. So if I double r, 2 squared is 4, I get a factor of 1 fourth. If I triple it, it would be 1 ninth.